Welcome back everybody, and at this point, we've got a little bit of a start on our Mars scene, but today we're going to go over to the Asset Store. So go to your tabs above your scene view, and to the right of Game, you should see Asset Store. Now when you click on this, we should go straight into the Asset Store. You may not if you haven't created a Unity account, so create a Unity account or just link your Gmail, and that should get the job done. Uh, but we want to go and look for any assets that could be helpful to us here on our Mars scene. Now I'm going to take my asset store tab and drag it out so I can make it a little bit bigger. You can do this or you can just sort of keep it inside of Unity, but I'm doing this so it'll show up a little bit better on camera so you can see what's going on. So yes, the asset store is a store and many of the things that you'll find on here are going to have a cost. But don't worry, I'm not going to ask you to spend any money on this. So we're going to make sure that we're always sorting by free. So you can take this pricing slider and drag it down to zero, or just check the box that says sort by free. Now, it can be a little annoying because when you actually search for something, it's going to kind of reset that. So you actually want to search for what you're looking for first, and then go back and tell it to filter out to just free assets and anything else that we want. So a couple of the challenges that we're going to bump into is stuff that has a cost. Lots of this stuff is expensive and you probably don't want to spend much to get your grade. Don't worry, you don't have to. Check that free asset box and we'll go look at the things that are free. Now another hurdle that we have is we're currently on our laptops running the 2017 version of Unity. So some of our good assets might actually not be available because they don't match our Unity version. So in just a second here, I'm gonna show you how to filter that out too. So like this here could be pretty useful, but we're not even allowed to download it because it doesn't match our Unity version. So what we wanna do is search for something that we want, like I've just been searching for Mars, or later we'll look at some other good search terms. And then we want to filter out anything that has a value. So we sort by free, and then we're also going to sort out by anything that comes after the 2017 version of Unity. So while looking for free assets that were usable back in 2017 does narrow our options quite a bit, that doesn't mean that there won't be something useful here. And the first thing that I'm finding is a skybox that looks like the Milky Way galaxy or where we can see Earth off in the distance. And I don't know if these are the perfect skyboxes for a scene on Mars, but this is actually definitely going to be an upgrade because right now we just have like a very plain blue sky, which would be boring even on Earth, and almost certainly isn't what it would look like on the surface of Mars. So I'm going to click download and then import. And then I look for that window in the top left and click import again. And depending on what asset you're importing, how big it is and your internet connection, this could take a little while or a long while. Uh, hopefully most assets won't take too, too long, but I'm gonna skip ahead here until the point where I have it in my scene. So jumping back over to the scene view and out of the asset store, if I look in my project window on the bottom and I look on the left, I can see all of my folders and I'll also see a new folder for whatever asset I've downloaded. The name's gonna be different depending on what asset you find, but for this example, I'm going to go look for the material of the sky box and I'm going to drag it into the sky and you can see what a huge change that is. That's definitely a big upgrade from that boring blue sky. May not be completely realistic for the surface of Mars, never been there. Um, I guess we could go do some research, but still, definitely an improvement. I mean, you might be able to find an even better sky box yet. So let's think about what else we could search for that would be useful on the surface of Mars. And we can start off pretty vague and we can get more specific as we go. So I already searched just for Mars and we found something kind of useful. Uh, now I'll just search for the word space and see what we get. And after I search for that, again, I'm going to sort by free and 2017 assets and let's see what we find. So I see some stuff here that looks pretty relevant. I see other skyboxes. I see some things that look like 2D assets and I see some things that look less helpful. So I might sort by 3D to make sure that I take out things that were created for, uh, you know, 2D video games, which isn't really what we're doing here. And I'm actually just going to search right now for vehicles and see if we can't find something that looks like it might have helped us get to the surface of Mars that we can put there. Uh, and some of these look pretty interesting. I'm going to click on this space shuttle here. And I can click through the thumbnails and look at some of the information about it. And 
you know, this looks like it might be something that could work. So once again, I'm going to download it, then I'm going to click on import, and then when that little window pops up in the top left, I click import again. So don't just walk away after the first click, you know, stick around, watch it, and make sure that you go through all the steps to get your assets fully imported. And I'll skip ahead again just a moment and take a look at this in our scene view. All right, back in the scene view, back on Mars. I'm gonna zoom in kind of close to my car and I'm gonna go find the asset that I just imported. And I'm gonna bring out this space shuttle. And even as we're just dropping it in, you can see it looks pretty small compared to our car, which doesn't make a lot of good sense. It's also kind of below the surface of Mars. So let's grab our move tool and let's bring that up to the surface. And this is smaller than the vehicle that we're driving around in. So it kind of feels like this should probably be a little bit bigger. So I'm also gonna grab the scale tool and I'm gonna make this significantly bigger until it just feels right. So now I'm gonna go and search for a couple more things that might be helpful. Uh, I'm looking for a habitat right now and there's some pretty cool looking stuff here, but I just can't find anything for free. So I'm gonna kind of take a mental note of that. One of the things I want you to do in the comments is tell me what you were looking for that you couldn't find, because eventually when we start to get to our 3D modeling, those are the kinds of things that we'll want to make our own 3D models of. So maybe we'll make our own habitat. I also know that we're probably gonna want a seismic sensor for part of our geometry tie-in here. So I doubt I'm gonna find a seismic sensor, but I'll look for a control panel and see if I can't find some sort of a free control panel. And this first return here is kind of an advertisement that's even slipping through my free search. But down below, I see uh, what we're calling an ATM here. This looks like a pretty sci-fi futuristic ATM, so it may not be the perfect representation of a uh, seismic sensor, but you know, I think this could work, or at least as a placeholder, it's pretty cool. We could use it for something, I think. So I'm gonna download, import that, and we'll skip ahead and place that in our scene. All right, so I've already gone into my project folder, found my new asset, and brought it out. And one of the reasons I wanted to show you something like this is you may want to sometimes change your terrain to sort of fit the new assets that you're bringing in. So when I first brought this in, you know, it's not exactly sitting on a level surface, and I want it to be over here in this location where I already have a hill. So I might take my set height tool and sort of level this out so that I can make this look like it's setting on a nice level plateau. So when you bring in assets, especially if it's like a habitat or some sort of a building that takes up a large surface area, there might be like hills in your terrain that are going through it, or it might be kind of floating in one area. So you can move the terrain up or down to sort of match and work with whatever you're bringing in. So when you bring in your assets, scale them so that you know it makes sense, uh, so that you know, this thing shouldn't be like enormous compared to the car. It should feel like you can get out of the car and interact with the control panel. Just try to make it make sense, scale things, place them where you want, and make the terrain work with the assets that you're bringing in. All right, so there's still some things we wanna do. Like I'm gonna demonstrate that, uh, you know, the shuttle I brought in doesn't really have a physical representation here yet. I can drive right through it, but we'll fix stuff like that later on. For now, save your scene and head over to Schoology. There's gonna be one comment section for you to respond to today, but there's two things I want you to put in there. The first I already mentioned. I want you to tell me what couldn't you find in the asset store today that you still want on Mars, because those are the things that we're gonna to try to create our own 3D models of. The second thing I want is just a screenshot of what you've done in your Unity project today. And once you're happy with your scene for now and you've made that comment with that screenshot, you're good to go. All right, guys, good luck and hit me up if you need help with anything.